and welcome to Tea Time with Torla. Okay, what you're about to watch is a true one pot first impressions that I will cut down to fit into a 15 or whatever minute video. I think it's looking at like 10 right at the moment. Or it would have been if it wasn't for critical audio failure during my first impressions playthrough. I blame Windows and blame myself. When we rotated the room, I'm sure you noticed the camera's a little different. Um, Windows apparently forgot all my audio settings when I re hooked up my computer. I didn't check. So it's half Windows fault, half my fault. C'est la vie. We move on with our life. I was working on a script for another video. But again, I have a new desk coming this week. This one's falling apart. I have also put pictures up on Twitter. Along with the art that's on the wall now. Which I'm going to try and get into a shot. But I might use a different camera since this webcam is starting to just crap out on me. So I decided to take a look at a series that I've never actually played before, but I've seen everywhere. I've seen it advertised, even as a movie for God's sakes. I didn't hear it was a very good movie, but a movie nonetheless. It was also in, uh, there was also a box in Deus Ex when I was playing that for, when I was playing that for the transhuman video, or the road to cyberpunk as I called it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Calling Hitman a stealth game is pretty accurate, but if I had to add tags to it, I would also include Puzzle. I've played games like Thief, Metal Gear Solid, Tenshu, and Deus Ex. They aren't the same kind of stealth, and honestly, that's what the coolest part is about Hitman. It's a big puzzle. The tutorial mission you're seeing now is more of what I'm used to. Infiltrate a building, take out a target, and leave. But the Miami mission is a different type of beast entirely. First, there are two targets, and both of them need to be eliminated. This is a big crowded event with civilians and security everywhere. Entering through the main gate requires a security frisk game, so all equipment is found on site. One target is driving in the main event, so I wanted to sabotage her car before the race started. However, when I arrived on site, she was already on the track. Scratch that. Then I mugged a security guard taking his uniform and dumping him into a dumpster. So now I'm armed with a firearm that I can't use. No silencer. Too many innocent people. Not that I think Agent 47 cares much about the general public. Taking out a civilian would just be messy. Unlike other stealth games, going loud isn't an option. You might be able to get away with a gunshot during something loud happening, but such an opportunity was never presented during my time with the game. When I said Hitman is a puzzle game, I meant it. But the puzzle pieces aren't all given to you, and there's more than one way to solve the puzzle. To clarify, I ran out of tea before I could finish the Miami stage. I spent a lot of time just trying to get the lay of the land, see what opportunities I had, but after writing this, I wanted to see more of what the game had to offer. My second run at the Miami stage was far more interesting. I had unlocked the ability to get equipment stashed on site, so I decided on the 9mm handgun. On the way to the parking garage to pick up the stash gun that I didn't even end up using, a man in a pink flamingo costume was mugged. I overheard two women talking about it while en route to the drop site. I found a man a little ways up talking on the phone about a meeting he'd set up with one of my targets. So I had to steal his already stolen suit and take his place at the meeting. I'll just leave you with this beautiful clip of Cold Blooded Killer, a pink flamingo story. So here are the two possible outcomes of... Cold-blooded Next up, killer. Being killed by a man in a flamingo suit. I was enjoying what was presented, but I wish there was more of a planning stage, a map, a timer for the race, something. I feel like Agent 47 and his handler 
would have some sort of pre-op preparations. I'm not trying to say Hitman 2 is a bad game, far from it. I think it's just a little too tedious for me. The controls are also strange. For this game, I decided to use my Xbox One Elite Series 2 controller. Yeah, I know, quite the name. I was confused when I tried to reload and it wasn't X on the controller. For you PlayStation folks, that would be square. And Y for Nintendo Switch. You do reload the gun by pressing right bumper. But pressing it, not holding it. Holding it puts 47 into something that reminds me a lot of Detective Vision from Batman Arkham Asylum. And it's just as useful, showing you who's around you, targets outlined in red. I was playing on Professional, the game's normal difficulty. I do have to say, finishing the Miami level the second time I tried was quite the rush of dopamine. Even though I did enjoy my time in the Miami mission the second time, I can't say I wanted to play much more of the game. However, I still loaded the next level, ready to try, and was greeted with this terrible, uneasy feeling as I looked for a way towards my first target, made a wrong turn, and got shot dead. I quit the game. Now, I've heard people like Yandere Dev talk about Hitman with a lot of passion and enthusiasm, and I can see why people would appreciate the series. Its depth and complexity, especially compared to most stealth games, but not the kind of experience I'm very interested in playing much more of. I feel Hitman rewards the methodical gamer. The kind that only has a few games or likes to play games to completion. That earns Hitman an Eggplant Award. Well that was quite an adventure. Into a game that's a couple years old and seemed to be episodic with a bunch of consistent updates. It actually got an update while I was playing it. It was very weird. I don't know if it's just I hadn't downloaded everything yet. Because the game was released in chunks. Like episodes. It works for some people. I'm not a big fan of episodic gaming. Um, that's why I'm a little on the fence about Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're gonna do it in episodes, guys. Look, I have nothing against that that uh model but like every other one i just want to keep playing when i'm done the first bit so i'm just gonna wait but don't think that doesn't mean i won't mention Final fantasy 7 remake when i do games of the year or whatever at the end of the year it's what i do even if i'm mad at sony for being a butt being pig-headed, for being exclusive to developers that made their platform sell, to developers that actually made Vita games right on the other side of the shoulder. Companies that actually supported a console you had no faith in, you're kind of kicking them to the curb now. I don't know. So, friendship with Sony is, is uh, on hold for now. I'm mostly PC and Switch anyway, you know? I'd rather play third-party stuff on PC. For the usual reasons, better frame rates, better this, better that, better whatever. But, um... Yeah, Hitman 2. Pretty cool. Um, again, episodic gaming is not a thing I like. I didn't like it in Siren and the PS3 era. I never think I ended up finishing that game. But I might have a way to record older consoles coming soon, so... Maybe I can take a look at some of my GameCube collection, which is hiding over there in the big box up top. I definitely want to play some of those games again. Like Eternal Darkness. That's a dope game. But I, I think I've been rambling about all sorts of things in this ending segment. This is probably the fourth time I've attempted to uh, record it after critical webcam failure. It, it seems to be holding up now. For now.
That's it. There's no more tea. It means the show's over, right? Anyway, I'm probably going to do... Uh, I'm also looking forward to, at the end of June, uh, June 23rd, I believe, is the New Game Plus Expo. Sega's going to be there with Arc System Works, Idea Factory, uh, Koei Tecmo, and some others. I did tweet about it a while back. Uh, you can look it up on Twitter. I'll probably link it below. That's one I'm definitely going to look at and probably talk about, because those are games I'm more interested in. The big first party games, everyone's going to talk about them. And when uh, Microsoft reveals theirs, I'll talk about theirs. And I'll even look at the Sony ones, though friendship with Sony is on hiatus. That's the way you got to treat companies, man. If they wrong you, you got to hold them accountable. Is that not a... No, no, I don't like that one. That, that's like too formal. For this show, matinee.